you been here? LAX and the blue up suite, yeah? Yeah, the private suite. Okay, so I finally made it to Athens, which is my first stop. So I'm all checked into my room. There really isn't that much to see. The people that I'm meeting here, they were all staying at this hotel. So that's why I just decided to stay here as well. Keep watching because as you will see, I'm about to venture off and go a different way. In those hotels, I chose them all. So we're gonna see some good stuff. In Athens is more city than all the other places like um all the other places they call it like the islands but i just ordered me a falafel bowl because i did not get to eat on the plane they gave me so many snacks though because none of their the meals were vegan which will probably come in handy for when you know i can't find nothing i want to eat but i don't think that's going to be a problem here it's usually only a problem in like mexico flight was good went by pretty fast i had a four hour flight and then a two hour layover and then an almost 11 hour flight it was like 10 hours in 45 minutes or something like that so almost 11 hours it was a long day because it started at 4 a.m wait i almost didn't tell y'all it is hot here like so hot soon as i got off the plane i had like a little over shirt thing oh my god it's hot i like want to take a nap but then i'm like no because then I won't be able to sleep tonight. So I'm going to text and see if anybody else is here. If they're doing anything today. And yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let me stop just rambling. I'm about to bring you guys and show y'all some stuff later. We'll see what we're going to do. But I'm in Greece. <laughs> really really been out of the country like you know i've been to like jamaica and you know it's like stuff like that like the caribbean i totally forgot that you have to put your key card in to like basically like turn on the electricity at you know these small hotels not even small yeah actually i think i've only done that at small hotels i remember doing it in italy but it was only at some hotels I called him I'm like my TV is not working I want to have my lunch eat you know what I mean like I was gonna sit down and have my lunch I wanted to watch something but yeah so you have to put your key in here the TV's on it's about to be on Netflix and I'm just gonna sit here eat my food then call everybody else and get ready I guess I don't know what we're doing all right let me eat my food I'm so excited I always eat falafel at home but Still, it should be better here. She had to finish her drink. All right, 
it. So I just changed. So it's only four people, including the birthday girl's mom and her cousin. So her mom went back to her room. She's going to sleep. And then us three are going to head out. She wants to, you know, see some of the nightlife in Athens. We're just going to go to like this rooftop place and see how it is. If it's not, you know, a vibe. We're just going to come back to the room because we have to be up at 7 a.m. to go to our first tour tomorrow. So yeah, I don't even know why we attempt in this, but whatever, because it's already... Um, I'm meeting them at 11 o'clock, so I have like 15 minutes. So we're gonna just go see and then um, get up. But we all kind of slept. When I landed at two, I already told you guys, I slept until from like two to six. So we're kind of awake. I would gladly just go back to sleep right now. But then again, I'm kind of like, I wanna go see as much as I can while I'm here. My hair, I didn't really flat iron. So here's the thing. I wanted to have my hair braided for this first part. Her hair is braided as well. And I'm just looking like, Ugh, why didn't this girl hit me back to braid my hair? So I wanted the, in Athens for my hair to be braided in like just cornrows so I could take it out easily once I went to the next spot. But then again, I'm thinking it might've been doing too much because I would've had to cut them out, take them out, wash my hair, straighten it. But I would've did it. I would've did it. I just brought my stuff. So my hair is like kind of flat iron, not really. It's like a 300 flat. Oh, I gotta go. That's my view. I got the workers right outside my window. Good thing I'm up early though. I just hate to go, look at this. What in the, they got a whole thing going on out here. It's about to be 8 a.m. and we have to be, meet our driver at 8.20. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if they have juice or something. I ate like a little protein bar, just in case, you know, um, we don't stop for like food or anything. We're about to go on a tour. So y'all know how that is. I don't know if I told you guys, but look at all these snacks the flight attendant gave me. They were so nice. All these protein bars, you know, some chips. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take these. But yeah, they gave me so much stuff because there was nothing for me to eat on the flight and they just felt so bad. I don't know why, like I'm used to it being um, vegan like, you know, I'd be having to find my own stuff. All right, so I just finished my breakfast. Everyone is up. We're about to hit the Uber. She thinks she's a movie star. I am. <laughs> she said bus two. It was in a car accident. Oh my god. Just kidding. 
it's like 9 30 at night oh my gosh i look crazy let me fix my clothes all right so we got home we had a long long day and mind you only like two or three hours of sleep because we wanted to go out last night we're debating on going out again because we came home taking a took a nap it's almost 10 but we have not ate so we're about to go this girl want to go to kfc y'all know i don't eat that but we're, i'm gonna find somewhere to go dang i took my earrings off hold on let me put some earrings on we're about to run right now and eat and then decide if we're actually gonna go out because i feel like we shouldn't go out late tomorrow because we all have flights we have flights to catch the next morning and like i don't know i just really want to be kind of on top of that because when you're flying out of a different country well my experience i didn't really have that great of an experience i feel like i'm traveling with so much stuff which i am and i want to make sure you know everything's checked in gets there I have two a huge luggage and a small luggage i put in the small luggage that i keep with me like the outfits that i know for the first couple days we're trying to find the restaurant i'm going to they're going to kfc i'm going to right looking around they are gonna get their food. We at KFC. I'm gonna go up here and sit down and eat, show you guys what I want. Had a late start today about to be 2 p.m and we haven't left or did anything everyone is in their room sleeping i actually got up and went and got breakfast but then i came back to my room and you know i was just chilled all day like i didn't want to go to sleep because i already can't sleep that well at night so i kind of wanted to stay awake sorry i'm like my face looks so white I kind of just threw my hair up. I wanted to wear it in a different way because I've been wearing it in a bun. It'll probably go right back up though because it's hot outside. We're gonna go to like brunch. Well, lunch, cause it's kind of late now. I added this gold belt that I got from, um, I got here, I got it from Zara yesterday. Just because I feel like it adds something like the little, I don't know, Greek looking. And I want to wear my gold heels that I wore the other night. They're just way too high and you know, we're about to be walking. I, I still brought flats though. I put them in my little bag I'm gonna bring. jacket that i brought so that's why i wear it on the plane not putting makeup and stuff on because i'm about to get on my flight splitting up with the group um they're going to a different location i'm going to stay in greece and see everything that i've ever wanted to see yeah last night we ended at the beach 
we really wish that we knew that the beach was closer because every time we got back we would be so tired thinking that the beach was extra far so we didn't ever end up going so we ended up finding it and it's like 15 20 minutes away but whatever i'm headed to the beach now actually not not to the beach i'm headed to the island so i'm going i'm going to be able to see the beach but they're leaving so yeah i'm not worried about that but it was nice last night it was fun like a little party area to celebrate her birthday and we had a good time awesome. So it's a lot of people here, but I gotta say like it moves pretty smoothly and it's really easy to get through the gates. I think because once you're through and you know you've shown your passport, you're already over in the other country and also you don't have to take your shoes off. That makes it a lot easier too. Ladies and gentlemen, our welcome on board flight of Sky Express to Santorini. So my hotel is 35 minutes away from the airport. When you get off of the flight, there's a little bus there to take you to, you know, where baggage claim and everything is. And um, so they wait. They wait for the whole flight to get off of the plane and I didn't know that and my seat was all the way in the front and this is one of those planes where you get off in the back which is, I should have booked a far back seat so I can get off first. I was really, really taking my time. Like I was getting my stuff together. I was thinking that they, um, everyone else got off and took the bus already. So i was just taking my time then i get off and i see the bus standing there everybody's on there like staring at me it's so hot on the bus i was like oh my gosh you guys are waiting for me i did not know i felt bad because like it was everybody on the plane on the bus welcome to santorini right oh so he is also calling the hotel because out here your hotel well depending on where you stay your hotel isn't like on a main road like you can't pull up into the hotel like it's in the hills so I'm nervous about that I watched YouTube videos before I came and I saw one of the people they chose a hotel they didn't even help them with their bags that's why I was worried to bring so much luggage I did bring two and they're both very heavy but I knew I was kind of like dang I was trying to keep it light because I was like am I gonna have to carry my own bags but he said there's somebody at my hotel that should come and get my bags from the top. So I'm gonna be doing things in the morning. It is so freaking hot here. Like, like all the things that I wanna get out the way, I'm gonna get it done early so I could be like at the pool or in the ocean. And I'm only gonna keep my hair for one more day straight because I have something planned tomorrow. I'll let you guys know later when I get to the hotel. going on just saw an accident it is crazy American yes yeah this is nuts very I'm waiting for a ride now I'm like nervous I'm like what the <laughs> heck So bad for him carrying my bags all this way. Oh my lord! Want me to carry? No, I'll carry this one. I can carry it. Are you sure? They did it at our hotel too. Oh my gosh! I can't. I feel bad. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy cow. Oh my God. I'm waiting on my room. I look a mess, but I cannot believe I'm here. Look at this view. So th this is the, um, like the restaurant area. Look at this. I can't wait to get into my room because it is hot as I don't know what. Breakfast? Breakfast. Yes. So you have two keys because you have two doors. One to is get in? the other, yes. And okay. the other is to go directly to the bathroom. So it smells good. This is the dehumidifier. Okay. Need to be activated the whole time because as you have noticed, <laughs> it's very humid. The uh -huh. Yeah. Uh here you have the, a bottle of water. Okay. That will give you complimentary every day. Okay. Coffee pots and tea. Mm -hmm. If you want to make it for you, there you have towels, and up there you will find um, uh, the wardrobe. The bathroom. The closet. Okay. You will find the closet there. Here you have a mirror. Oh, and mm -hmm. a lock box. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I wish I brought my lighting. Wait, is this all the light, huh? Um, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Turn it on. Oh, the other side. Oh, okay. I don't want to get it there, but you will find you have another light. Okay. Here is is for the hot water. Okay. Water, you will need to sweep this okay. uh, and out there you have another sweep. So when you listen the clack, hot water. Oh, okay. Also automatically we turn it off. Yo, this room is everything. I am so happy to be here. Like I couldn't wait for her to stop explaining like let me i mean it's simple and like it don't look like much but it is you guys saw everything it's the view for me look like i can't get over it like i cannot get over this like what the fuck? thank you god like i'm just so thankful i've been wanting to come here but dang I'm so excited, like I'm hot. I want my bags. He still hasn't brought my bags to my room. So I'm just like in sneakers and stuff, traveling clothes. I wanna put my sandals on. I wanna put a bathing suit on. I actually have dinner reservations, but like, I don't wanna leave my hotel. Like I have to be up early tomorrow. Like this view, I don't need to go anywhere else really. Why did I make that reservation? Like honestly, I should have made it for tomorrow. I'm gonna have to cancel that probably because I wanna stay here. I wanna get ready for the morning because your girl got a little photo shoot. That's one thing. They ain't got no blow dryer. Like, my hair is kinda like sweated out. I'm gonna have to use that little fan that I bought. And it's at eight in the morning, so I wanna be up at like six because I'm gonna do my hair and try to put a, like a full face of makeup on as much as I can because the guy he kept like stressing that it's going to be hot I'm like dang I ate in the morning but I mean I live in Vegas I already know so yeah that's the main thing that I'm doing tomorrow and since I'll be up early I'll get other stuff done too I honestly do not want to leave this room that's what I see I be booking these good rooms and then like I want to be here but I'm definitely gonna go explore a little bit 
and see um so there was a place that i wanted to go called a moody bay the guy he made it seem like it's not worth it he's like you gotta hike down there he's like it's so difficult to get to but because he said it's difficult i kind of like want to do it so i think i might put on like workout clothes and go do it because he said it's a long hard walk i might just put on my workout clothes go down see it you know i thought i would take like my bathing suit and stuff you know to get in a boat but i have other places that i'm visiting in greece that i can get um go in a boat you know what i mean so and maybe it's not as difficult they said i mean as here so we'll see i'm gonna try and make the most of every day that i'm here okay wait a minute so my luggage just got here did y'all see that man bringing my luggage he literally walked like we were walking for a minute i don't remember when i go back i don't know if i filmed the whole thing but that was crazy and i just felt so bad because my luggage is really heavy he must like lift a lot because my luggage is so heavy he had it up on his shoulder dragging my little bag and i told him when i was coming down the stairs i was like wait a minute like i can carry that so um i just had a um i had 50 euros so i gave that to him but i feel bad like i want to give him more when i get more money I'll, i'm gonna give him more he did a lot so i'm gonna have to definitely give him more money because he wouldn't even let me help him i was like dang okay sir you got it because it's hot. it was hot anyway i really didn't want to help i saw some um videos of people bringing their own bags down that long way so i'm like dang if i had to do that myself i, I wouldn't have been able to do it i would have maybe been able to bring one by one but like where was i gonna leave my bag you know what i mean but yeah okay so my stuff is here i can really get comfortable i don't even know what to do i'm lost for words ah, i'm so happy okay i'm lost i'm trying to find i'm trying to find the um front desk but i don't remember how to get there is it past my room you guys this is gonna be my workout every day because to even leave i have to walk up a thousand steps like i'm out of breath already <laughs> set for 5 30 but i think i'm just gonna get up because my sleep has been so messed up it's like when i sleep past like three or four hours i feel like i've been sleeping too long i went to sleep probably at like 9 p.m which is the earliest i've been to sleep since i've been gone like i have not really been sleeping i'm about to start getting ready for my photo shoot i just wanna know what's taking so long for you to come through tell me why i just wanna know what's taking so long for you to come through cause girl you got me feeling anxious anxious girl you got me feeling anxious. i finished i feel like i feel like i have a lot of makeup on but now that i'm looking in the camera I could have put a little more. My face is already shiny. And I just put this long braid in. Um, they said it can get windy in the morning. But I'll be good. Because I'm going to bring my hairspray. Let me put that in my backpack right now. Because I'm bringing like a little backpack with um, everything that I need. We're going to two locations. The first location is right outside my door. But y'all know every time i leave my room it's a workout like i have to go up i don't even know how many steps it's it's more than 50 steps i can tell you that i gotta bring that fan so i can keep my makeup good till we get to the top i got this little backpack on amazon before i came like because i wanted like something that was not like name brand to be walking around with because i don't want people to stick out like you know sort them and people think like oh she got money i don't know what's going on i ain't trying to get pickpocketed but anyways i just put tissue in there because i always dab my face with like tissues because um i get sweaty well not even sweaty shiny 
so i brought those some shades it said to bring shades i'm gonna bring this sunblock hairspray um a different change of earrings i'm not a huge jewelry person i wear the same you know small jewelry small i'm into small earrings now i'm not even in to um huge hoops anymore um every now and then like if i'm going somewhere what was i about to grab oh if i'm going somewhere but yeah i'm really just what the hell was that noise yeah but anyways um so i'm gonna bring a little bit of uh powder and i'm not really doing too much i'm gonna do maybe a big earring with a because I'm wearing two different dresses. One is red and the other one is like a silver gold. Yeah, I went all the way with it. So I was thinking to wear this with these with the red. These are these are like my favorite vacation costume jewelry. And y'all know I only could wear these for two seconds because my ears, I will get a rash like all the way down to my damn neck. So I'm going to take them off right after the shoot though. So I'm thinking of doing the you know long braid yes okay you know i feel it with the little yeah i made my bed this morning what is that oh that's my clothes but yes like i'm feeling this just like a little you know braid look i wanted to do i brought these two because i don't know why i like these two these are like my cute little vacation earrings too for pictures only but I think I'm going to wear small earrings for the um, silver. It's like silver gold. I have to see it. They're coming to my room. What time is it? It's 719. They're coming to my room at 8. So we good on time. I feel like I need to stretch before I go hiking, basically. But anyways, I have like these little. Um, I've had these earrings right here for so long since I was probably like, I don't know, like 19 but they're just like silver. There's like diamonds in the front. Um, I know y'all looking like they don't go with those gold bracelets, but guess what? Like something, I don't know, like something small. Or should I bring both the gold earrings? Let me see, I gotta wait. Okay, but those are my three choices. Either those ones, those three earrings that I showed you. I have like my Louis Vuitton hoops, but no, that's not gonna go. Like we're trying to do yeah no i love gold jewelry on my skin i know everyone's like oh i like platinum i think gold look good on me i made a mess in the bathroom but i'm not even gonna worry about it until i get back you know look at that's exactly how my room where i get dressed at at home that's exactly how i look right now like i really got things to do when i get home but i'm not gonna worry about that because i still got Dang, I still got a week, y'all. <laughs> like, when did I leave? What's today? I done lost track. Today is Saturday. My photographer's here! Do I even look cute? I hope so. I hope I hope he can make it look right. Make his, make my pictures look how I make my pictures look. I make my pictures look good. Uh huh. Okay. Getting a workout. Okay. 
<laughs> a lot of work. Only one elevator here from the whole island. Oh, okay. Okay, where am I going? I need to dab my face. I'm sweaty. So, we just finished the first location and the first dress. Now, I am headed to find my car to go to the second location and change the dress. I was really excited for the red dress, but this dress, well, I obviously picked it for a reason. And I did go with the small silver earrings because when I got it, I just thought, is it right here? Yeah. This was a little too busy to wear like the dangly earrings. So that's why I went with these. And plus it's silver on the bottom, gold on top. Looks good. And yeah, so I'm gonna go with the big earrings with the red. <laughs> what? Is there a cat in here? Oh my gosh. Okay. Huh? No, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got dropped off. I'm waiting for the photographer. I see him though, they're parking. And then I guess I'm going to change probably in one of these bathrooms. Y'all, this is work, <laughs> low key. And my hair is a little bit messed up because when she threw the dress, like I know she was probably thinking it would be funny, but I feel like she should have did it with a red dress because the sequins got stuck to my hair, lifted my hair up. I don't have gel, it's only hairspray. So I was looking at her like, girl, I know it's probably funny other times, but not with the sequence. It's heavy and it gets stuck to everything. Like, whatever. You can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. Here's the red. The red was a little bit harder to get on because there's like very little stretch. And y'all know it took priority to get my butt in. like it's like a whole little area with like shopping and oh my god I'm really getting lost out oh. there's so many different like oh, okay actually I'm going the right way okay so but there's so many little like turns like this and like that behind me around in this area where my hotel is so I got dropped off because I saw a little um, grocery store. I don't know where I am. Damn. It's like I need to get to the main area and my camera's about to die. Okay, so that's the restaurant that I ate at last night. That's the restaurant I was actually looking for because from here, I know exactly where I'm going. All right, it just looked a little sketchy back here.
I'm about to go hike up these stairs. I'm not playing with these stairs today because there's a lot of stuff that I didn't get to see yet. Just all the way at the top. You see all those people up there? That's where I'm gonna try to go today. I wanna go down to the bay, which is the water. I thought I was gonna be able to get super cute and you know take pics and everything down there, but you guys, it's so hot and a workout. So I just throw on my workout clothes and I'm just going to see it, go enjoy it. That's about it. I'm not gonna be taking any pictures down there today. <laughs> I'm almost there. I probably still got about, no, I'm not. I don't know how people are doing this in sandals. Like, it's too slippery. I just, I almost slipped up there in my running shoes. And the stairs are not normal. They're very far apart. So it's like you're walking downhill. And yeah, even he struggled. said it was like 120 steps I lied it's 218 straight down but they're not counting the steps to get all the way back up I feel like really it's about 230 steps maybe even more because I'm pulling up some more steps I don't want to get a big water but because I don't want to carry it I still have a long walk back to my place you know what, maybe I should wait to get a water at my hotel because it's free anyways. I'm just gonna get two small ones. Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> I'm talking to my camera, talking to my viewers. <laughs> sure. Last day in Santorini, I'm about to go handle the little checkout thing i don't know why i actually have to go to the office i'm not used to that i'm used to just basically leaving it's so quiet oh, okay there's a girl up there doing her dress shoot oh wait no she's not it's just a random person here comes the guy to get my bags good morning go ahead and go ahead be just this give me no you just hold it oh uh, we do yes it's video you record him right now I really do not know where to go. Um, he just told me to walk this way. Let me look at my ticket again. I'm glad I came early because I do not know where to go. Okay, so I'm sitting down. I found my gate. It's right there, right here. I'm sitting right in front. I already have my ticket. I got my ticket online. I don't know what we do with our luggage. I've taken a ferry before. This is a two hour ferry. I think I've taken one in Belize, but I was like with my family. So I really have to figure out stuff for myself. <laughs> Can I have this Green River smoothie? Maybe. I didn't really have too much great food in Santorini. I had pancakes yesterday, these vegan pancakes that I found at um, this restaurant, Karma. That was pretty good. I did have a pasta I like, but I feel like they told me it was vegan, but I don't know if it was. It tasted really cheesy. But then again, it could have been the um, vegan cheese that was in it. For dinner, I had Kalamata olives because I love olives. So the fact that they bring you olives with every meal, I love it. I had olives and french fries. <laughs>
the worst part about it was that there were so many people getting on at one time and that I had to carry my own luggage because my luggage was so heavy. It's so loud, but I'm going to try and tell you guys this. So I came downstairs because all of our luggage is here and it's just random. Like there's no ticket, no nothing. You just leave your luggage and get off. So we're making two stops or three stops actually. Um, They're trying to figure out where to drop me off to be close to the hotel. I was sitting at the pool for a second kind of um, looking at what's around me I picked the perfect place and I'm so happy because I d I don't know Greece like that so I'm kind of just taking a guess at places to stay just like in Santorini I didn't know all that walking all those hills and everything I was near everything that I wanted to see so even though I had to do all that walking it worked out and here I'm here I'm <laughs> almost fell <laughs> and here i'm right in the middle of the city kind of like santorini um except without all the steps and stairs and all that but um because it's like right in the city there's just one road and it goes one way and it's super narrow i think you guys seen that on camera it's gonna be hard to get rides the guy who dropped me off here he almost didn't bring me he was like yeah I can't he was like I can't go in you're gonna have to walk he was trying to drop me off way back at the um, beginning of the road and I would have dragged my two suitcases to him I was I mean to my hotel I was like no I'm so glad he changed his mind cuz I was like how I don't know where to go oh my gosh there's water it's the same water but it's beautiful yeah, so I'm near everything that I want to see. I'm here for only um, a short amount of time, shortest of all the places that I went, because I've been staying three days in every place. Um, here, I'm going to stay two and then go to the next place because, I don't know, it was just, um, I just felt like I didn't need much time here. I didn't have anything. Everything that I want to see, though, is walking distance. So I'm about to change and go ahead and get started. And the coffee tea facilities that they refill it every day. The mini bar, of course, if uh, you take anything, you can see also here the, the prices. Okay. So from here, because the bottom is a little bit hide it, you just press this one here in order to switch it on. Okay. And from here you change the temperature. Okay. So we'll leave it, let's say, on 21. This is the smallest five-star room I've ever had. But I'm not complaining. <laughs> No, it's super small though, but uh, I'm only here for two nights. I mean, it ain't no Santa rainy view, but it's a good view. I wanted to be close to downtown, so I'm right near the wind. I'm right near the, oh my God, look at my hair. I'm about to put a hat on anyways. I'm right near the windmills of Mykonos. If you are familiar, you can Google it. It's like the center of the little bitty town. I'm about to go show you really quick right now. Let me take my key. But yeah, 
So this is where I'll be for the next two days. <laughs> ready for my ride to come to the airport right now but I'm still waiting for my gate to open to check my bag in but I think I'm just a little bit too early because nobody's here I'm back in Athens um, the rest of the video is going to be on my phone because I ran out of space on my card and I didn't bring another one I should have known for two weeks of filming oh well Okay, whatever, it's gonna be on my phone and I'm gonna try and just get, you know, the main things in these last three days. So I'm on my layover and my friend left her phone in her Uber when she left Athens, but they, um, the driver returned it to the airport. So I have to exit, I have to go through security and all that again, but whatever. So I'm gonna go get her phone from the police lost and found and then I have to exit anyways because I want to go get my the tax free you know how I went shopping so that's what I'm headed to do now I have two hours into my flight so I have a lot of time but I don't want to get lost best room of the trip actually I really liked you guys I look so terrible I just look like I've been working all day the only reason why I say it might be the best is because it's like updated it's not all like how my room's been it's like I know I'm in Greece um this is a little more updated and yeah just my vibe <laughs> because I think I took the wrong way. There's like a shorter, like a little shortcut, but I forgot where I was because I came from the pool. I'm breaking out y'all. I gotta go home and do me a facial. I woke up around 6.30. I wanted to see the sunrise and it was so beautiful. I'm glad I woke up because I was like, if I don't wake up, oh well, just get some sleep. Then I went to 8 a.m. Pilates. That was a good class. When it first started, I was kind of like, this is easy. Like it was, it felt like super easy. But then as it went, I was like, oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. I blew up my floaty. Yes, I brought a floaty. It's over there. It's a little Versace floaty that I'm gonna put in my pool. Like I planned on when I got here, I planned on resting. And the reason why was because there isn't too much to see. Kind of like Mykonos. But in Mykonos, there was still like some walking that I had to do. So here it's pretty much like 
I plan to do the spa and you know just everything here so yeah I'm not too pressed on like going 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 but there's like a couple things that I want to go see so I'll figure that out get that in my schedule before I have to leave but um, yeah you guys will see what I end up doing today I'm heading to the big pool for some lunch and then I think I'm gonna go like downtown or something. I showed you guys the big pool earlier. It's so pretty. The reason why I've been in my own pool, one, because I have it, two, because there's like kids down there and you know, I'm trying to relax. <laughs> day has finally arrived that's how I'm going to end my trip I'm so excited